The Earth is a wonderfully weird and wacky place, filled with plenty of strange and incredible things, both natural and made by us, and who doesn't love an opportunity to learn new things? From flame-throwing birds to underground salt churches to dusty orange ski hills, you name it, there's no shortage of craziness all around you to satisfy your curiosity. If you're a sucker for interesting, random stuff to talk about with your pals around the water cooler, then this is a video for you. Here are the 15 strangest things you didn't know five minutes ago. He's 40,000 years old. Wow. The oldest figurative art in the world. <laughs> Number 15. Owl Legs Celebrities are not the only victims of their scandalous pictures being leaked on the internet, and this epic reveal has legs. Someone has shockingly exposed this poor horned owl's gorgeous gams, and of course, the post went viral. Yeah, the majestic birds of prey have a hidden trait model like legs. They're usually hidden under all their thick and ruffled feathers. However, that's just one of the things most folks are not aware of when it comes to these types of owls. If the length of these beautiful birds' legs impressed you, what would you say about the fact that they can almost fully rotate their heads around? 270 degrees to be exact. Also, did you know their eyes are not true eyeballs in the sense that they're not round, but immobile tube-shaped organs that provide binocular vision to focus on their prey fully? And get ready for this, owls are sometimes known for cannibalism, i.e. they'll eat other owls. Great horned owls are the top predator among their species. And one more interesting owl fact, owl feathers, due to their unique shape, make absolutely no noise when flying which makes sense that these stunning birds are the champions of stealth and they have legs for days. Before we move on, if you don't smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell today, it, the clown, will appear under your bed tonight. Number 14. The Chichen Itza Chirp The Mayan city of Chichen Itza is full of architectural and engineering marvels, specifically the Temple of Kukulkan. Clap your hands at the base of the pyramid stairs and an echo will ring through the air. It isn't an ordinary echo either. It sounds like the song of a ghostly flock of birds, a chorus of chirps that crescendos before fading into silence. The warbling echo was first studied in 1998 and has been intriguing scholars ever since. Studies found that the height and spacing of the pyramid steps create an acoustic filter that emphasizes some sound frequencies while suppressing others. According to some acoustic specialists, it mirrors the call of the resplendent Quetzal, a gorgeous bird cloaked in an opulent array of green and red feathers, and the Quetzal was considered divine by the Maya, a symbol of goodness and light. It's unclear whether they intentionally crafted the pyramid with such an effect in mind. Some argue they did in fact begin building the stone behemoth knowing its tiered stairs would manipulate sounds and let it sing the song of the sacred bird. Others speculate they stumbled upon the acoustic marvel by accident, then later tweaked the architecture to enhance the effect. Either way, it's an incredible trick with sound at an even more incredible location. Number 13. The Giant Ancient Mushroom the largest living organism ever found has been discovered in an ancient American forest, and it's a giant ancient mushroom. It has been spreading its black shoestring filaments through the forest for an estimated 2400 years, killing trees as it grows. These filaments consist mainly of black bootlace-like rhizomorphs that spread out below the surface in search of new hosts and underground networks of tubular filaments called mycelium. It now covers 2,200 acres of the Mahler National Forest in eastern Oregon. The Armillaria ostoyi, popularly known as the honey mushroom, started from a single spore too small to see without a microscope. The outline of the giant fungus stretches 3.5 miles across and it extends at an average of 3 feet into the ground. It covers an area as big as 1,665 football fields. That's a big mushroom! The large clumps of yellow-brown mushrooms that appear above ground are the fruiting bodies of the much larger organism. 
The discovery came after a scientist at the Pacific Northwest Research Station in La Grande, Oregon in 1998 heard about a big tree die off from root rot in the forest east of Prairie City. Number 12. The Longyu Grottoes In 1992, in the Chinese village of Longyu, a uniquely curious local named Wu Anai pooled his money with his neighbors to buy a water pump and began siphoning out the pond in his village. Anai completely drained one and found that it wasn't really a pond at all, but the flooded entrance to an ancient man-made cave, one of ten. Carved into solid siltstone, each grotto descends around 100 feet underground and contains stone rooms, bridges, gutters, and pools. The quantity of rock that would have been removed in the overall excavation of the grottoes is estimated to be nearly 35 million cubic feet. Taking into account the average digging rate per day per person, scientists have calculated that it would take 1,000 people working day and night for six years to complete. Despite their size and the effort involved in creating them, so far no trace of their construction or even their existence has been located in the historic record. Moreover, there is not a single historic document that refers to the Long U Grottoes, which is highly unusual considering the sheer scale of the project. Their origin is a complete and utter mystery. Number 11. A Comfortable Hole N.B. Coco the gorilla was an incredible gorilla that mastered sign language. When she was asked by a human where dead animals went, she replied, a comfortable hole. One of the first words that Coco used to describe herself was queen. The awe-inspiring gorilla was only a few years old when she first made the gesture, sweeping a paw diagonally across her chest as if tracing a royal sash. It was a sign we almost never used, Coco's head caretaker Francine Patterson laughed. Coco understands that she's special. She captured the world's imagination when she broke the human-animal barrier by communicating with a version of sign language. As an adult, her vocabulary was 1,000 words strong, and she understood 2,000 English words. Asked where dead gorillas went, she apparently signed, Comfortable Hole, Bye. Despite the nonchalance of her outlook on death, she became very somber with her head bowed and her lip quivering on hearing of legendary comedian and dear friend Robin Williams' death more than a decade after they met. It's no surprise that news of her own death in 2018, two weeks shy of her birthday, flashed around the world and led to an outpouring of grief. More, I think you need more. More water. Celebrities such as Robin Williams, Leonardo DiCaprio, Sting, William Shatner, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers bassist Flea, among others, were proud to count on her as a friend. Number 10. The Salt Cathedral The tunnel leading to Columbia's most famous church feels more like a descent into the bowels of the earth, but after a few hundred yards, the shaft reveals Roman Catholic icons like the Stations of the Cross and the Archangel Gabriel and they're all carved out of salt. Columbia Salt Cathedral is located about 600 feet underground in a former salt mine just outside Columbia's capital, Bogota, with thousands attending services. But the cathedral is also an architectural wonder, built in the caverns and tunnels left behind by miners who extracted millions of tons of rock salt starting two centuries ago. The construction began in 1815 and it opened officially in 1953 with a huge worship space complete with walkways and a basilica dome. In 1990, however, the Salt Cathedral was shut down because of structural problems that were deemed unsafe. Work on a new version began one year later and the current cathedral opened in 1995 about 200 feet beneath the original. The design required structural improvements and the removal of about 250,000 tons of rock. The original cross in front of which the miners prayed back in the 1930s remained on display, but the capacity of the sanctuary expanded greatly to welcome some 8,400 people. Number 9. The Oldest Art in the World Some 44,000 years ago, on the Indonesian islands of Sulawesi, someone crouched in a cave, crushed a chunk of ironstone hematite into a pigment, and proceeded to paint a rich scene onto the limestone walls, full of a wild boar, buffalo, and their half-human, half-animal hunters. Scientists have identified the painting as the oldest figurative art in the world, and it can be found in a cave in the Borneo jungle. The cave in Kalimantan, Indonesia, also features ancient hand stencils and more recent paintings of human figures from 13,000 to 20,000 years ago. 
With artifacts this old, scientists use flowstone dating. When water runs down the walls of a cave, seeping into the limestone, a calcite flowstone forms. A flowstone contains uranium, which will decay at a predictable rate, turning into thorium. Testing the ratio of the two elements allows scientists to nail down an accurate date for the flowstone's formation. The findings made headlines around the world in late 2014, and the implications are revolutionary. They smash our most common ideas about the origins of art and force us to embrace a far richer picture of how and where our species first awoke. Number 8. The Lost Roman Legion In China, Likian is a small rural town in China's Gansu province on the edge of the Gobi Desert. This unusual town in western China became famous thanks to a theory formulated in the 40s by the Chinese history professor at the University of Oxford, Homer H. Dubbs, who attributed a Roman origin to it. The Lost Roman Legion He claims that around the year 58 BC, the richest man in Rome, Crassus decided to start a war without the authorization of the Senate against the Parthians who were making a killing on the trade on the Silk Road, a trade route connecting the Far East to the rest of the world. The result of the war was a massacre and one of the most humiliating defeats of Rome. The Parthians killed 20,000 Roman soldiers and captured 10,000 more. They were captured once again by China and were enlisted into the Chinese army and eventually settled in Lycian. As you can see, because of the mixing of races over time, the inhabitants of the small town at times present Caucasian characteristics such as green eyes, pointed noses, raised superciliary arches or blonde hair. The name Lycian could be the transliteration in Chinese of the word legion. It was precisely the name that the Chinese used in this era to distinguish the unknown Romans who bought many of their luxury products. Number 7. The Pando Tree Colony if you've ever walked through an aspen grove, you've seen hundreds or thousands of white trunks propping up a sky of silvery green leaves trembling in the wind. In the fall, all the leaves in one grove will go from green to gold at the same time. This is because the entire grove is really just one organism, a massive root system from which many trunks sprout, grow, die, and are replaced by new trunks. The largest aspen grove in the world, in Utah, is named Pondo. Latin for I spread out. It sprouted 80,000 years ago from a seed the size of a pepper grain and now supports almost 50,000 trunks, making it the heaviest living thing in the world and one of the oldest. Aspens have the unique ability to produce genetically identical offspring through offshoots from the root system. Through their ability to multiply asexually through their root system, aspens tend to colonize large swaths of land through a shared root system. The grove of 47,000 trees has remained for thousands of years partially because the single organism has been able to supply trees at every stage of an aspen's life, helping it to be resistant to external threats. In total, the grove of aspens covers 106 acres. Number 6. Brand New Monkey In 2012, scientists discovered a new species of monkey living in the remote forests of the Democratic Republic of Congo, an animal well known to local hunters but unknown to the outside world. Cercopithecus lamaniensis, known locally as the Lasula monkey, whose home was deep in central DR Congo's Lomami Forest Basin, the scientists came across a strange-looking monkey tethered to a post. It was the pet of Georgette, the daughter of the local school director. She adopted the young monkey when its mother was killed by a hunter in the forest. The Lasula had strikingly large, almost human-like eyes, a pink face and golden mane with a range that covers an area of about 6,500 square miles. Until recently, it was one of the Congo's least biologically explored forest blocks, but because of the monkey's discovery, it will bring a renewed effort to save Central Africa's pristine forests. Under threat by loggers, bushmeat hunters, and weak national governments, the forests are a potential well of important scientific discoveries and a key linchpin of the Earth's biodiversity. And thanks to the brand new monkey, the Lazula, we can help preserve this important ecology. Number 5. Pyromaniac Birds Pyromaniac Birds when the dry season spreads over the tropical savannas of Australia's Northern Territory, rangers start watching for the so-called firehawks, flocks of black kites, 
whistling kites, and brown falcons that hunt near bushfires, snapping up small animals flushed out by the smoke and sparks. If a fire begins to flicker out, locals claim, some of the birds will keep it going by carrying burning sticks to new locations. Native Aboriginal people in some parts of Northern Australia referenced the fire-spreading actions of firehawks and sacred rituals and noted numerous sightings of the firehawks. Even raptors, predatory birds with sharp beaks and talons, and keen eyesight are widely known not only for lurking on the fringes of fires, but also for snatching up smoldering grasses or branches and using them to kindle fresh flames, to smoke out mammal and insect prey. The idea that birds intentionally manipulate fire has long been greeted with skepticism in scientific circles, but a recent paper published in the Journal of Ethnobiology confirms that these pyro birds do spread wildfires for hunting purposes. Oh man, that's the last thing we need. Fire starting birds! Number 4. Goliath, the longest tadpole. While netting a mostly drained pond, researcher and volunteer Alina Downer felt something large bump into her legs as it swam through the knee deep mud. At first, she thought it was just a fish, but when she reached down, she was surprised to see a very large bullfrog tadpole. The gigantic tadpole, discovered by biologists in a pond in Arizona, has been christened Goliath. And you can see why. The sizable swimmer is believed to be the largest bullfrog tadpole ever recorded. The reason for the gigantic size of Goliath, he's larger than a typical can of cola, is likely due to a hormone imbalance. This could well stop him from being able to morph into a frog. Goliath was a bullfrog tadpole that never metamorphosed. At the time of his capture in 2018, he was larger than a soda can stuck in tadpole limbo. Goliath went on to live out his years at the Southwestern Research Station, preserved by scientists to better understand what caused his mysterious condition. Goliath was a king, at least in the tadpole kingdom. Number 3. Aztec Death Whistle Archaeologists have found many instruments made of clay, animal skins, seashells, and other materials at Aztec and Mayan sites across Mexico. Yet there is still considerable debate about what exactly they were used for. Known as the Aztec Death Whistle, some scholars believe that the skull-shaped whistles were used to recreate the screech of howling wind because they were found in a temple dedicated to the wind god Ehecate. The instruments are known as whistles of death because historians believe they were used to help guide sacrificial victims on their journey to the afterlife. Another theory holds that hundreds of the instruments were used in unison to scare enemies during battle. Some experts even believe that the Aztecs used sound vibrations to treat illnesses because some of the whistles produce infrasonic sounds that are too low for the human ear to recognize. Such sounds can have a dramatic impact on heart rates and states of consciousness. In any case, modern musicians and anthropologists have grown more interested in the role that whistles played in the ongoing indigenous history of Mexico. Number 2. Russian Orange Snow The city of Sochi in Russia is known for hosting the 2014 Winter Olympics, but in 2018, the resort city became notable for another reason. Its mountains turn red like the surface of Mars. Winds have carried red sand from the Sahara Desert in North Africa. The dust, mixing with storm and rain, has turned the snow various shades of red and orange. According to CNN, the sandstorm went from North Africa to Greece before heading to Eastern Europe, and it could even be seen in footage from NASA's Terra satellite. Skiers and snowboarders in Russia, Ukraine, Bulgaria, Moldova, and Romania posted photos of the surreal scenes on social media and complained of sand in their mouths. At least according to the BBC. The same weather event also caused the skies in Greek island of Crete to do the same thing. The weather phenomenon happens every five years or so and has previously occurred in other parts of the world, according to meteorologists. Number 1. The Gate of the Sun it's unknown how old these ruins are, but some researchers suggest that they date to 14,000 years BC. One ruin still standing in Tijuanaco is the Gate of the Sun. The Gate of the Sun is approximately 10 feet tall and carved on a single block of stone. Just above the gate opening is the most prominent feature of the ancient remnant, a bass reef depiction of the deity whose head appears to be garnished by an interesting headdress, or perhaps these are rays emitting from its face in all directions. 
The figures that decorate the stone are believed to have astronomical connotations and resemble human-like beings with wings and curled up tails and appear to be wearing rectangular helmets, although interpretations differ. When rediscovered by European explorers in the mid-19th century, the megalith was lying horizontally and had a large crack going through it. It currently stands in the same location where it was found. Also, some believe that that may not exactly be the original location. Tiawanaco is now about 800 feet above the level of Lake Tiacaca, but most archaeologists agree that it was once a port. Structures have been found in Lake Tiacaca which show that the sea levels have changed dramatically throughout history. That was 15 of the strangest things that you didn't know five minutes ago. Thanks for watching.